Hi, my name is Fadi. I am um, the CEO of Ocean Basket. Ocean Basket is a brand that started in Cyprus uh, 12 years ago with one of uh, the founders here, uh, Mr. Vasilis Bilis. And over the years, we've expanded to 15 entities. Uh, we've just opened our first store in the UK, and it's been going amazing. In order to keep the brand sustainable, we need to expand in other regions. And the UK is one of the biggest, most marketable region for us to enter. And we feel like it's time for England to experience uh, ocean dust. Our sustainable approach in ocean baskets take three different approaches. So we, the first one is protecting our oceans. The second one is, uh, you know, sustainable business decisions as expansions and so on. And I, and I think the strongest sustainable approach we have is our people philosophy that I think is the major drive to, to our sustainable business at Ocean Basket. In order to keep our products sustainable, we make sure that all our suppliers are uh, using the correct approaches on fishing. All our products are uh, responsibly sourced and a lot of our products are from farmed uh, fisheries. Uh, in regards to our business, you know, as I just said, we've expanded our, uh, in, our, in, in the UK with our first shop in Bromley. And that's been going amazing. And our final one is with our people philosophy. And we take a very unique approach on how we run our businesses here where we don't have bosses. You know, uh, everyone is accountable and responsible for their own position. And uh, this helps eliminate a lot of inefficiencies in decision making where someone has to wait for someone's approval, where that person not, may not be so involved in the project or within that restaurant. So we allow every individual to be the boss of their own position and make these decisions. And if they fail, they fail. And we learn, we put our learning uh, learnings down and we move forward. But for this to happen, we have very strict principles and guidelines to make sure that they can make the correct decision going forward. The biggest Sustainable issues we're facing right now is definitely global logistical price hikes and uh, delays and the way the government is dealing with labor issues in Cyprus. The buying division of our business is, as you said, probably the most important uh, factor for us to deliver value. And, you know, we have that sorted and that's why now our major focus is the people. And I'm really happy that you also feel that our, our crew has this hospitable way of welcoming people and uh, that's amazing. But the challenge, the, the, the only, the, the biggest problem with this challenge is basically the time. when is it going to end? Because it always happens, you know, things go up a little bit and then it stabilizes. But now we don't know when things are going to stabilize. We keep thinking, okay, it's, it's going to stabilize a year ago, a year and a half ago, six months ago, and it's just things are coming up all the time. This is our biggest, when is it going to stabilize? in order for us to make a proper plan and uh, analysis on how we move forward. We're not the leaders in environmental uh, change practices. You know, we, the paper straws, paper bags, uh, sustainable packaging for our takeaways and delivery. The customer had no feedback for us on, you know, why did you move from plastic to <laughs> paper straws? I think everyone knows every little bit helps. And I feel like uh, this is one of our uh, thinking for the future. Like, what can we do to help the environment? We definitely have plans to focus on communities, especially per city. So we see what communities, what community needs are per city and try and help as much as possible.